Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be kicking off for real the anti-rust treatment test. It's all set up, ready to go, so let's dig in. Okay, so when I did the intro last week, I was awaiting for uh, a couple more treatments, uh, a couple more sprays that I was going to include. Thank you for all your ideas, I really appreciate that. I've added two in, which I'll show you in a tick. Um, let's first of all, I guess, go through all the ones that I've bought so far and explain just a little bit about pricing and where they sit in the market or so, I think. Really good news, not if you're out riding, but uh, for this test, really good news. The weather's changed, it's blowing a gale, all the salt spray is coming all over the property at the moment, as it tends to do this time of year. So while it's not great if you're out on the bike, it's perfect for a start to this test. Okay, so let's get some uh, graphics up and we go through all the products, all eight products we've got, and then show you the little test rig that we're going to be using for the duration of this test. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so these are the eight products I'm going to be uh, testing on the rig over the next uh, weeks and months. We've got WD-40, we've got Scott Tyler's FS-365, GT-85, Muckoff's relatively new HCB-1, Tech Coats TC-200, the two products from XCP Professional, and the product we all know and love, ACF-50. Okay, so the first of the products I'm looking at is WD-40. We all know WD-40. It's quite thin, but it's quite persistent. It's good for wiping down a bits of chrome and stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how it lasts compared to the other products here today. It's one of the cheaper products. A 450 mil can costs £5.66. £5 That's the, the sort of standard price I could find, which works out at £1.26 per 100 mil. So just to give you a sort of a starting figure of all the products here. Secondly, we've got the Scott Isler, the FS365, uh, which has been around a while now. It's an interesting one, this one, because um, rather than just spray and forget about it for the season, they do talk about repeated applications, so uh, after every ride. So let me know what you think. Do I just spray it on and leave it? Or do I do as they suggest on the bottle and basically um, reapply, say, once a week or once a month? Let me know what you, how you'd like me to proceed with that one. I'd be interested in your thoughts. Uh, it's also fairly good value, or certainly fairly cheap. Um, a one litre comes in at £12.99, so around £1.30 per 100 millilitres. Next up is GT85. I think that one's fairly well known as well. Certainly I've heard it. I know most people have, I think, now. Um, again, it's probably a similar sort of product to the WD-40. It's uh, a lubricant and a penetrant and a water displacer, it says on the can there. And 400 ml of that will cost you £3.75, and it's the cheapest on test per 100 millilitres at 94 pence. So bear that in mind as we go forward. Um, fourth one up, one from Muckoff. I know very little about this. On the other comparison tests of the anti corrosion sprays, I couldn't find this one tested anywhere. I think it's relatively recent, so this will be an interesting one to look at. HCB1, so 400 mil costs £8.73, which is a little bit more than the first three at £2.18 for 100 millilitres. Now it's interesting just to note at this stage, it's hard to pick up on the photo though, I'll try and show you in a bit. Um, this goes on quite a bit heavier than the first three, the WD, the Scott Oil and the GT85, and it almost looks a little bit waxy, which none of the others do really. All the others look fairly oily, this looks a bit more like a wax. So I'll try and pick that up in the, in the photo later on the rig, um, but it's just interesting to make a note of it at this stage and see how it um, hangs together. So um, £8.73 for the 400ml, £2.18 for, per 100ml of product. And the fifth one, uh, one I'm not too familiar with, you may well know it, comes from a firm called Tech Coat, so anti-corrosion spray TC200, 400ml, um, comes in at £10.75, so a little bit of a jump up in price again. Uh, that's £2.69 per 100 millilitres. Then, then we've got a pair of products from XCP Professional. Now, if you're like me, I was a little bit confused what the difference is between them. But the orange one, or just the straightforward rust blocker, seems to be a much thicker product. And I'll talk about it in a sec. And the purple one, the rust blocker clear coat, seems to be a bit of a thinner product. So let's let's have a look at the, the orange one, just the straight rust blocker first. 
Um, 400 ml can of that was three, 13 pounds 25 I could find, so three pounds 31 per 100 ml. This one is, I'll point this out in the group shot in a minute, it's a rig. This one goes on very, very thick. It's a very, very um, heavy deposit that's left when, when you go away. And it'll be interesting to see how that influences uh, the test, but it's certainly the heaviest uh, laying up of, of, of products. They're very, very heavy coating. Um, as I say, a three pounds 31 per 100 milliliters. Then the purple one, the clear coat, this goes on a lot thinner. That's the, the takeaway from the initial look. Um, I, I, I saw an initial conclusion, if you are, initial comment. Um, it's a lot thinner than the, the orange one. But interestingly, and this was only a, a quick look around of all these prices, it's just a quick Google and see what I can find. So you may find some of these more expensive or cheaper. But I found weirdly that the, the purple one, the clear coat, which goes on more thinly, was actually more expensive. I found it at uh, £15.49 for 400ml. I think that was from Sport Bike Shop. So £3.87 for 100 millilitres. So um, best part of four times the price of GT85. So it might be worth just bearing that in mind as the test goes forward. And uh, last but not least, uh, we all know another ACF50. That's kind of a standard bearer for many of us, I think, over the years. 370 mil cost £16.25 though. And that's a whopping £4.40 per 100 millilitres. So... It's got to be really good here, I think, to certainly win out on a value for money stakes. Interestingly, the ACF50 was the one that was the hardest to spray. It comes out, even if warmed up, really quite um, in globs, if you like, rather than a fine spray, unless you put it through a really high pressure um, spray gun or something. It is the one that seems to be most difficult to spray on in a, in a fine mist. Interestingly, interestingly though, when it's actually um, on the bit of steel and, and dripped off, it seemed to run off and leave a thinner coating than the XCP Professional Rust Blocker, the orange one. So um, interesting just to uh, see how that all pounds out as well. Okay, so enough talking about the, the products themselves. Let's have a quick look at the rig and uh, I'll see, see where we go from there. Okay. Okay, right, well, I hope you can hear me over the uh, the, the weather, over the, the wind down here, which is it's howling a gale already. Okay, so very briefly, this is the test rig. The two that I was going to call out, which you can't really make out probably in the video, are the fourth uh, sampler long, um, which is the Muckoff one, which has gone on looking very much like a wax rather than um, like an oily uh, film that's been left and also the sixth um, place one which hopefully you can see just looks a different color and that's the uh, the XCP professional the uh, orange or the gold one and that if you can't see it on the video it's, it's a bit of a shame but it's, it's certainly very much um, appears to be a very much heavier coating shall we say um, so those are the just the two call outs um, the two um, outriggers on this incredibly high-tech rig are just um, the same bits of uh, bent steel um, sheet. Um, they are untreated, so they are not only serving as little legs to keep the rest of the samples uh, off the deck, um, but they're also like control uh, samples to, um, to sort of see how quickly they rust with no protection at all. One would hope that they would rust uh, quite quickly and so corrosion quite quickly. So um, that's it for today. This is day one. We're uh, September the uh, um, 17th, is it? 17th, 18th and uh, 17th. And um, we'll go from there. If the corrosion starts to creep in really quickly, then I'll probably do weekly updates. If it progressing quite slowly, I'll probably only do them monthly. But um, this, is, this is the setup we're going to be using. And uh, uh, where you can't see it in the video again, there's salt spray coming all over this at the moment from the coast which is only about half a mile away and we're getting blown all over the shop so thank you for staying with us today i hope this is of use bookmark us or rather um, subscribe uh, should i say if you uh, would like to see this going forwards and any feedback is welcome particularly around the fs365 do i reapply that weekly or monthly or just let it run its course and see how it compares okay guys thanks as ever for watching i'll catch up with you soon cheers for now Ta -ra.